the French uh, lose the war against uh, Germany, you know, four years of uh, losing, and uh, the, the United States come to, to help and, uh, and put the, the French out of the shit. Mm -hmm. So uh, after this, the French had to try to keep the colonies, you know, mm -hmm. keep Madagascar, keep uh, Africa and Algeria, and also keep Indochina. Stephanie from History Hustle, and I'm standing here in front of the War Memorial in Jam Ben Phu here in Vietnam. And in this video, I'll talk about the first Indo-Chinese War. In Vietnam, often referred to as the French War. After World War II, the Japanese troops laid down their arms and Ho Chi Minh saw his chance and declared independence by declaring the Democratic Republic of Vietnam in Hanoi. Now the French acknowledged this republic, but it was to remain a protectorate within the French Union. The south of Vietnam remained a French colony. Ho Chi Minh and Vo Dien Giap fought back with their army against the French. This army was called the Viet Minh. Till 1949, it was mostly guerrilla warfare because the French army had far better weapons than the Viet Minh. But in 1949, China became communist and Chinese communist troops arrived at the North Vietnamese border and the war transformed into a conventional war between two modern equipped armies facing each other. The Viet Minh supported by China and the Soviet Union and the French army supported by the United States. The French army were mostly colonial soldiers, Vietnamese but also a lot of Africans. The reason why no French Europeans were called up for war was because the war was really unpopular in France and was also called the Sale Guerre, the filthy war. The communists took stronghold at the coastlines and the French occupied Hanoi, the south of Vietnam, and the main territories of Laos and Cambodia. And then, the Battle of Chiang Bien Phu. The French had the idea to create an army base in the inlands of Vietnam near the border of Laos at Chiang Bien Phu. To cut off the supply lines of the Viet Minh to Laos, but also to lure the Viet Minh towards their base to destroy their army. 15,000 French soldiers were stationed at the fortifications of Jem Ben Phu under the leadership of Christian de Castries. At the beginning of March, 50,000 Viet Minh soldiers surrounded the valley. What the French did not know was that they were able to brought in their heavy artillery. At the 17th of March, they launched their first offensive. Fortress of Beatrice was taken quickly and the rest of the fortress were heavily damaged. They were not built for such heavy artillery. Also, French airplanes and helicopters had difficulties with landing and could often not get up again because of the enemy fire. Therefore, the French got their reinforcements at the beginning of April by paratroopers. The Viet Minh dug themselves into trenches. Therefore, the French were forced to bring their lines closer together. And then the rain started. Bunkers and trenches were flooded with mud for the French a déjà vu to World War I. Because of the bad weather, French airplanes were not able to spot the artillery positions of the Viet Minh. Also, reinforcement material could not be delivered from Hanoi. And on top of that, paratroopers of the French were either killed in the air or landed into hostile territory. Beginning of May, the Viet Minh launched their final offensive, firing with all their guns, who were too well dug in and camouflaged to be spotted by the French airplanes. At the 7th of May, at 5 o'clock, Christian de Castries sent his final message to the French headquarters in Hanoi. The Viet Minh is everywhere. We're blowing everything up. Long live France. And just a few minutes later, Viet Minh burst into his bunker and they raised their flag on top of it. After 
55 days, the Battle of Jam Ben Phu was over. The French suffered 2,000 deadly casualties. Around 12,000 French soldiers were captured. The Viet Minh suffered far more casualties, 8,000 deaths, but they won. What followed were the Agreements of Geneva in the same year, 1954. Agreed was that North and South Vietnam became separated. The North became communist, the South capitalist. And this was the start of a new war, the second Indo-Chinese war, also known as the Vietnam War. I like Vietnam, you know, yeah. France, I have nothing to do here, No, nothing. 